Early portraits of historical teachers are a fairly large topic uh, because there are just so many teachers, but not all teachers are, are equal in art. Some are more represented than others. So really we need a, we need a kind of a curriculum, a curricula. We need to, we need to uh, have a way of approaching all of these different teachers and the different art. And uh, we really have to divide up uh, painting from sculpture because it's really two different approaches and two different uh, types of analysis. But just to choose uh, an important figure with art uh, that is uh, quite manageable is uh, the Karmapa. So, so we're not dealing with a single individual. We're dealing with an incarnation lineage. The Karmapas began with uh, Dusum Kempa, and he was born uh, 1110, passed away 1193. And uh, we have a certain amount of art uh, from an early period. So really we're looking at 13th and 14th century for the early art. What we have um, that I'm familiar with is we have nine paintings. And these nine paintings show the, the first Karmapa, second and third. Um, and and they, they show him in a variety of, of, of uh, ways. Now, when we're looking at paintings, we, we, we have to think about the, the central figure and secondary figures, but then we can have illuminated manuscripts, and we can also have uh, footprint paintings, or sometimes handprints and footprints. So we have these different um, kind of compositional types, or what we're looking for in the composition. For the hand and footprint paintings, we're looking for a secondary figure, um, whereas we, what we don't have early on at this time period for teachers is we don't have uh, sets of paintings. Really, sets of paintings for teachers and lineage paintings really don't don't start until uh, until later. We're really looking at, I would say, the 15th century to the present. There's just not enough teachers uh, early on to really warrant or justify uh, the amount of effort, work, and the cost. Uh, lineages of teachers are usually placed in the composition in registers at the top and then descending down the sides and at the bottom. Early on, uh, in the early period for sets of paintings, what we would have is the five uh, Tathagatas, the five Buddha families based on the Charya or Yoga Tantras, uh, Abhisambodhi or Sarvadurgati or one of the more important tantras of, of that time out of those uh, two uh, tantra classifications. So with, with Karmapa, what we have is we have uh, really probably the earliest we have is a Western uh, Shia kingdom, uh, the Shisha people who were primarily living in uh, Gansu, Qinghai, area of north uh, western china and we have a, a small detail in a in a medicine buddha painting which which we really have to kind of acknowledge is must be some form of a karmapa and very likely karma pakshi because of the dark color uh, but still possibly not likely possibly the first karmapa but not likely uh, we also have uh, two paintings of uh, of Karma Pakshi that are done in an Indian style. Now, when I say Indian style, I don't mean they're Indian paintings. I mean they're Indian style done by by Tibetans, most likely. Um, and uh, these have to be recent, just after after his passing. We have a footprint painting, and it's not clear whether or not it's the first, second, or third Karmapa, uh, who is a small central figure at the top. Uh, there's a very important painting with six teachers which shows Karmapa at the bottom right. And uh, he's wearing the uh, black hat and he's shown with other teachers which help to really date this painting. And uh, inscriptions on the back also tell us who all the figures are. So uh, this is just an introduction to what we know of right now really as the earliest documented uh, portraits of the first three Karmapas.